What's up, everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Thank you guys, first off, for all the support and the love and uh, just everything that you guys are doing to continue to push through this moment in time. This is uh, this. There's been moments of uh, where this has been a scary thing. Um, this is definitely nothing that any of us have encountered before. And, uh, you know, we definitely, definitely um, are kind of leaning on each other as support and to stay positive through this moment, um, you know, and just fight through this. Because here's the thing. This is going to pass. Um, you know, it's going to take a little time, but we're going to get through this quicker than you think. And things will get back to normal and things will be better than they were in the first place. This is a, this is a real opportunity for us to take a step back and be grateful. Right. I think a lot of us were maybe in a, in a, in a way um, kind of taking it for granted. I think a lot of us may have been taking where we were in life for granted. And I'll be honest with you, um, you know, as much as I've been through with the market crashes and, you know, losing everything, going back to work on the oil rig and all the stuff. You guys have heard my story, um, all the stuff I've been through. I, I, I think I was just a little bit, not much, but I think I was even a little bit, um, you know, as far as taking it for granted, just a little bit. Um, not, not enough, <laughs> not enough, because I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. Ever since I, I came back from the crash, I wanted to build a business that would absolutely nothing would take it down. Nothing would take my business down. I was never going to end up back on an oil rig. I never wanted it now back uh, on a roof ever in my life. And, um, and I've succeeded. Um, you know, the position I'm in now, I, I didn't get hurt by this at all. I was in position for this. I own a lot of stocks. I was in position for this. Um, I own a lot of real estate, a lot of you know, rental properties, I flip properties, I was in position for this. Um, so, you know, what I want to do is just what I've been doing for over three years now, I want to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry by sharing my story and everything that I learned through losing everything to prepare you guys for a moment, just like what we're in right now. This is, this is part of the story. This is, this has been scripted. This was so predictable. Um, nobody would have predicted it would have come from a pandemic, but this was completely predictable in terms of the market flipping upside down. There being a lot of fear out there and, you know, a lot of people kind of getting uncomfortable and not knowing which way to go. So I saw this coming and, um, you know, I'm not a genius by any means. I saw it coming and then I got lucky that I actually kind of predicted it in a way, but. I'll tell you what tipped me off. Back in January, Apple came out and said that their earnings, I don't know how many of you guys follow this stuff, but Apple came out and said their earnings was going to be hurt bad by the by the coronavirus in China. And when, and when I heard that, bells went off in my head. You know, and I've been looking for, I've been looking for a reason for the market to crash because it's been going up for so long. So something was going to do it. And when Apple said that, I said to myself, Ugh, I think this is it. I really think that this is going to be it. And when I saw that the coronavirus creeped into America and I saw the looks on people's faces and I saw kind of the, the tone of the market and what was going on, um, I said, here it is. I had a very, I had a very uh, clear vision of where we would be even right this second. Um, so this is completely normal. I want you to know that right up front. This is what markets do. Okay. And I always talk about this. There's a temporary downturn in your market, in, in your personal business. There's a temporary, your business will suffer temporarily. There's a temporary suffer of your business for two to three months. That's what we're going through right now. We're going through that two to three month period where not a lot of people are looking at properties, writing contracts, closing on deals. There are some business, there, there's some deals going on. Business is not dead. Um, I normally sell about 30 properties in March. I've sold two so far. So business is not dead, but it's definitely slower. But this is the moment right now that you take advantage of. This is the moment right now that you take advantage of 
um, because the the agents that are going to stand up and, and sit at their house and call people and connect with people for eight hours a day. That's what I've been doing. I've been making phone calls for eight hours a day um, ever since this happened, calling everyone I know, checking on them, seeing how I can you know, help them. How are they doing with this? What's going on with them? Um, and getting into those conversations and deepening those relationships. You know what it does? A lot of things. Number one, it tells them that you're not scared of this and that you're not going to stop being a real estate agent. You're here for the long run, right? And that gives them confidence in who you are as a real estate agent. Also, they're never going to forget that you were the one that called them through the pandemic to check on them. They're going to remember that forever. Um, very important. Um, so when we come out of this, when we come out of this, I'm going to be able to spot who was working through this. Who took time off and made excuses and who stepped up to the plate and tried to help more people, contact more people and develop their database even further. Whoever has the largest database full of people that they care about, you're building personal brand with is going to win. It's a race to who has the biggest database. And if, if agents are taken off right now while you are advancing and building your database, when we come out of this thing, who's going to win? You're going to win, right? So that's the position I want you to be in. You know, the larger your database is, then you will be able to weather any market that comes your way. Okay. And if you build your business on relationships and people know that you're there to help them, that's what this is all about. So I got with Red X and I wanted to do something um, to, to help agents through this time. And so we came up with a new product. Okay, this is a new product, and we're going to give all of you a discount on that product today. Okay, so what it's called is it's called Geo Leads Plus. So the regular Geo Leads was fifty dollars for two thousand leads. Okay, pretty good deal. Two and a half cents per lead. Two and a half cents versus Facebook leads for three dollars or ten dollars or twenty dollars. Zillow leads for several hundred dollars for random people in your market. You don't know what's going on. This is a targeted property owner that owns the exact property you want to sell, the, the exact price range, the exact person. Nothing's better. Nothing. If, the, if you think something's better, please comment and let me know. I want to know what is better than two and a half cents for the exact client that you want. Get them on the phone, talk to them and make friends with them and do business with them. Right. So all of you, if you're new here. ZeroToDiamond.com. There's a 90-day action plan, scripts, everything's free, the whole nine yards. Go there, dive into the material, and you'll know what I'm talking about. We're not selling people. We're seeing what we can do to help people. We're going to build our database, and through that, we're going to close so many deals now and later. So Geo Leads Plus, okay, it was $50 for 2,000 leads. So what do we do? We're doing 5,000 leads. We're bumping the 2,000 leads up to 5,000. We're going... We're, we're, we're not, we're more than doubling it, right? We're going two and a half times what it was. We're going from 2000 to 5,000 and we're adding emails. So for all of you up in New York, where they ban cold calls, um, in certain areas for certain, certain people, um, use the emails, personal emails. Now, a lot of people are asking me, are you going to put the emails, um, uh, on in your weekly email? I would say no. I would say if you want to personally use the emails to personally email them and see if they respond back and you get a conversation going, then they say, sure, you know, we're, we're, let's work together, whatever, then put them in your weekly email. Or if you talk to them on the phone, I would say that's the moment that you put them in your weekly email. But what we did is we went two and a half times the leads per month and we added email. I see some comments of some people that that have Geo Leads Plus already and they're raving about it. So the price for this, we doubled the price to $100, but we're giving it to you for $70 for the next three months to help you through this moment that we're in. Okay, so if you already have Geo Leads, you can up, update it, you can, you can upgrade it for just $20 more. For just $20 more, you're going to get... 3,000 more leads with email addresses, okay? Um, and if you're new, if you don't have Red X yet, it's $70 for 5,000 contacts with emails. So at $100, that brings it down to two cents. 
two cents, right? And when you bring it down to $70, it's under a cent and a half, 1.4 cents per lead. And you can use the emails, right? So there's a phone number in the description, and I'm going to tell you what it is right now. It's uh, Red X at 800-731-7339. Again, that's 800-731-7399. And just mention my name so you can get the discount. Also, if you're new, they'll waive the $150 setup fee. Startup fee waived, and you can start for $70, getting 5,000 contacts a month with the GeoLeads Plus. Okay, so I'm so glad I've been begging Red X to add more than 2000 to a plan. And this is even better. They doubled it and added email. Another thing you should do is get the dialer, Red X storm dialer or the single line dialer, because that shaves hours and hours and hours and days and weeks off of your life. Because what, what used to take me 15 hours to do to look up 100 numbers and dial them by, by hand, now it takes me just an hour and a half because I just click a mouse and find all the contacts and click another mouse that starts dialing them automatically and I can get through a hundred in an hour and a half. So this is very powerful. I also want to talk about for rent by owner leads. I think these are very powerful and I'm, I've mentioned them to a couple people and they're finding a lot of success. They're for rent by owner leads are literally investors and it's by owner. They have an algorithm where it's not a management company. It's the owner. And it's the exact moment they come into your folder, the exact moment that they're looking for a renter, maybe a renter just left their long term property, um, long term rental or whatever the case may be. And they're looking for a renter. That could be the moment they're thinking about selling or maybe they're looking for more properties or maybe they, you know, they have multiple properties. Maybe they're thinking about selling this one. They might have some commercial properties and some land. You never know what these clients, these for rent by owners are gold. I'm telling you, they're gold. Um, so. I think that's something else too. I think I would think very seriously about, but they also have expires for sale by owners and pre foreclosures. Okay. So to me, this is the best thing that ever happened to real estate agents. It's so cheap. What I want to do is save you money on coaching. I don't want you to pay for any coaching whatsoever. And I don't want you to pay for leads. I would rather you get property owners or for rent by owners or expires for a couple of cents for high quality leads that own the type of properties you want to sell rather than spin leads on buyer leads that, you know, <laughs> I mean, let's face it. They, they're, those are tough leads. Those are leads that you give new agents and stuff. These are the high quality, really cheap leads that actually lead to building a really incredibly large business. All right, I'm going to dive into the questions here, the Q&A session. Um, again, those of you who just tuned in, um, you know, I just want to say thank you guys so much for everything. And I love to see you guys pushing. I love to see you guys continuing to push forward through this moment because I know a lot of you, because I'm getting so many messages of a lot of you that is you, you are, you're continuing to call, you're continuing to get listings, you're continuing to sell things, put things under contract. I'm seeing it and I'm loving it. So just keep pushing through this, you know, over the next couple of weeks, two to four weeks, I think the country may be back to work. Hopefully we'll see. And then it's going to take another three to six months, maybe to get back to fully, you know, 90% back to normal or something like that. But we're heading in that direction and uh, everything's going to be fine. And I'm just excited to be here and to try to help you guys through this. And uh, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that something I say helps a lot of you not have to quit the business during this time. And you realize the big picture here, as long as we're continuing to talk to people and help people and build our database, good things are going to happen. And we're going to, we're going to make it through this. And when we get on the other side, we're going to look back and say, man, you know, we are in such an incredible business. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, here's a good one. A script for COVID-19, GeoLeads. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use my normal script. We're going to say, hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson. It's Ricky Kruth. How you doing? I'm enjoying the days. Or no, not this is okay. This is this is the part right here, the weather part of the call. Okay, that's the part where you're going to say something about it. 
Okay. So, hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, this is Ricky Kruth. Um, how you doing today? Doing good. Yeah, I'm just I'm just here at the house quarantine making some calls. How you doing through this? Something like that. Something like that. Something around those lines. Remember how I always do this. That little short non salesy you know, nothing about real estate statement about the weather. If you notice, it's always a really short statement and a question, short statement, short question, and we pause and let them talk. Okay. I'm doing good too. Just sitting at the house here, quarantine, make some calls. How you doing? How you doing through this? How are y'all doing through this? So that's how we're going to approach it. And then we're going to say, I got you, man. We'll look. You may get into a long conversation there. I got you. Well, look, I don't want to take too much of your time, but, you know, I sell real estate in the area. Didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you maybe when this is all over with. Right. Are you thinking about doing something maybe when this is all over with something like that? OK, yes or no. Cool. Is there an agent you you guys, you know, would work with if you were to, you know, do something in the future? You know, I'd love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be hard if I stayed in touch with you? Boom. Right. So there's a lot of that's just me going through a quick role plan. There's a lot of different variations, a lot of different things you can do, a lot of things you can take out, a lot of things you can add. But I think you see where I'm going with it. I think the main thing is that we 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 put ourselves in a position where we're calling them to check on them, to see how they're doing. We want to give them that F.E., friend or family effect. We want them to feel like they're our mom, dad, brother, cousin. You guys hear me say it all the time. You really want to talk to them like they're your best friend, okay? And that you have compassion and that you're here to help them. You just want to know what you can do to help, okay? So that's where it's all going to come from. Our, our end result is to get their contact information so that we can build our database and get that weekly email going so that they know who we are forever, right? And then we just build, 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 build. Let's see what all we got here. Any questions? You guys put any questions you have in? I hope that answer helped you. Okay, so I am going to make some live calls next week. Um, I'm going to make some live calls probably this same time next Thursday. So be ready for that. I'll look at my schedule and I'll, I'll announce it and everything, but I am going to make some live circle prospecting calls. I'll call some Gulffront condo owners um, this, this uh, next Thursday, live right here on YouTube. Somebody says we're in a state of emergency. All local boards does not want us to meet any clients in person. No open houses, all virtual meetings. Great. Here's the thing. If you're sitting around focused on what you can't do, then you're not paying attention to what you can do. What I want you to do is I want you to make a list of the things that you can do and then start focusing on those things and do those things all day long and forget about the things you can't do. I've been sitting at my house, not leaving my house at all, making calls eight hours a day, never leaving, never leaving, never leaving, just making calls, making calls, making calls. So, I mean, I'm just focusing on what I can do. Another person says that their lender just now um, looks like Fannie Mae has stopped all FHA, USDA, and VA loans with a score under 600, effective immediately. This includes all loans that were set to close and fund. Okay. Th there are certain things that are out of your control. Again, we can't control those things. Let's, let's, let's make a box and let's focus on the things that are in that box that we can control, like what we do all day long. We can't control regulations. We can't control interest rates, you know, viruses, supply, demand, stock market. We can't control those things. Let's focus on what we can control. Let's see what we got here. Patty, she says, is the dialer included for $70 a month? No, it is not. That is just for the leads. Okay, $70 is 1.4 cents per lead. OK, so you throw the dialer in there and I mean, we're already <laughs> they're already giving the leads away for one cent. Let's see. What do I think about calling withdrawn listings? 
Are we treading previous? Are we treading on previous listings toes? Not really. I mean, I'm not, you're, you're, you're being respectful. You know, you're telling them, Hey, you know, I saw your property withdrawn. You know, do you still want to sell it? Is there anything I can do to help you? You know, they're probably going to tell you, yeah, we took it off. We, you know, we're going to put it back on. We like our agent, you know, so you, you never know till you call. Every situation is different, but just be respectful. You definitely don't want to get in a situation where you're getting calls from brokers who are mad at you, right? You want to be respectful. Let's not poach each other's um, clients, okay? Let's be respectful, but let's still get out there and find out the story. Because if you don't know the storyline, you don't you you don't know. I mean, they may be looking for another agent, and if they're not, great. You're in good hands. You love your agent. Good deal. I'm just calling to check in to see if I can help. You're in good hands. Talk to you later. Good luck. I'm here if you need something. How do I approach the calls when people are so closed off and defensive? The same way you approach every call. You're calling them like they're your friend or family. The reason that they're closing off and the reason why they're they're acting defensive is because of your tone. It's, it's actually because of you that they're acting like that, right? Call them. And don't let your guard, like, let your guard completely down and don't put your guard up. Once they start acting defensive, right, continue to be nice, continue to be, you know, caring, continue to give them that F.E., you know. Hey, Mr. Johnson, it's Ricky Carruth. How you doing? Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. I'm just, I'm, I, I'm, in, I'm been working from the house, quarantined. You know, how you guys making it through this? You know, you just keep on pouring that niceness on. You keep on pouring that genuineness on, right? You just keep keep putting it on and they'll it will eventually break them down because they can only be mean for so long when somebody's being nice to them. If you're genuinely there to help them. Now, if they're just being straight out rude, then you guys saw my video the other day. I'm going to kind of <laughs> get rude with them back. But if it's somebody that just has their guard up, that's fine. I'm going to keep being nice. I'm going to keep going through my script. I'm going to keep trying to see if I can help them. And if I break through to them, great, which is what happens most of the time. And if I don't, that's okay too. We're just, we, all we can do is try. All we can do is work. We can't control what they do. We can only control what we do. Hey, Ricky, I'm a new agent. Do you recommend this for new agents? This is exactly what I, I recommend for new agents. This is the first thing I would do if I were a new agent. Call my sphere. That takes about a day. Day two for sale by owners. Day three, geo leads forever. Okay, for those of you who don't understand what geo leads is, you put a address in the search bar and then click neighborhood and it, and it when one click finds all the people in that subdivision and has them right there in a folder for you all their contact information phone number email address the whole nine yards hey people are home right now people are using people are answering the phone there's a lot of pickups right now the reason i use red x over other systems i tried every system out there and this was the best data I could find. I had the most pickups, the most correct numbers, um, all of the above. My approach with the emails is, is once I call them, if they don't answer, maybe I'll try them, try to email them and say, hey, I tried to call you, um, kind of send them an email there, a really short email, don't get too carried away. Um, and then just see if I can get them to respond. Marco, I just went through the script. Um, let's see, that thing, that script I just did is probably at the, I don't know, 15 minute mark of this video. So maybe just go back. You can actually click back right now as it's live. You can actually click back and go back and watch it. The 5,000 leads, each lead has around three phone numbers. So it's really about 15,000 phone numbers and emails. Yep, seventy dollars for five thousand. Am I getting any negative responses calling owners? No, I'm not. 
I'm not. I'm getting really positive responses during these times. Is there a website to generate phone numbers for these geo leads? That's what the geo leads are. It's phone numbers. Would I add the neighborhoods to your weekly automatic newsletter and they can unsubscribe? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do it unless you actually corresponded with them via email one-on-one -on -one or a phone call. I wouldn't just start sending them the email. Cool. All right, guys. I mean, listen, I'm just here to help you guys. That's it. I just want to help. Um, you guys know that I answer all my DMs. So if you need something from me, Instagram DM is the best way to reach me. Uh, I'm going to hang out here for a little while if you guys have more questions. Matter of fact, Maybe I'll get somebody on the phone. Somebody, I'm going to call one person. Somebody put your phone number in if you want me to call you. And uh, I'll bring, I'm going to bring one caller on to answer a question. Um, put your question in, in too. Put your question in with the phone number. But yeah, I've been calling eight hours a day, um, getting really good responses. I'm going to do live calls next Thursday, same time. And um, I'm really excited about the market moving forward as we move into, you know, getting back to work, going back to the office, um, you know, and kind of getting into that routine, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I mean, this has been great because it's, it's, it's gave me a chance to take a step back, take a look at my business, see where my holes are, and then you know, reevaluate and reorganize and reestablish a foundation of where I am that I can build on from there. And when this market rebounds, I'm going to be in 10 times better shape than I was before. Um, okay. I see a phone number. I'm calling a phone number. You guys can type in any more questions you have. I'm calling one person. Terrence, I did answer that question. Hello. Hey, it's Ricky. Hey, Ricky. How are you? Good. Can you mute your uh, YouTube? Uh, sorry? I was just going to tell you to turn the YouTube down. I could hear myself in the background. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I, just, I just turned it off, yes. Yeah. So uh, how you doing, man? Yeah. What can I do for you? Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I was trying to DM you on uh, uh, Instagram and I could not uh, find the right words to write to you. So what I want to know is I see your videos regularly with the, uh, with the text and with the, you know, graphics and everything. Do you have somebody helping you uh, with those or you just do it yourself? Yeah, no, there's a there's a company in uh, Canada. They're called a uh, high high key, high key, H I A. Yeah, high like jump high and then key is in house key. High key agency. High. Oh, okay, high key agency. Yeah, perfect, just perfect. Ju yeah, just reach out to them. Just you can DM them on Instagram or you know Google them and like mm -hmm. message them and just tell them I sent you and they'll take care of you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Cool, and buddy. How's your transition to EXP been? Oh, it's been incredible, man. I mean, best move I ever made. Great, great. So, so if someone from Canada wants to join, uh, can they join through you? Or yes. Or for someone local? Yes. No, they can go right through me. Oh, okay, great. Then then we will touch base. I'm okay. I'm actually looking to, to uh, move from my brokerage, so okay. maybe it's a good time. So yeah, I'm just uh, just, uh, just email me. Just text me on this number, and I'll call you. I will, for okay. sure. Okay, bud. Yeah. Later. Okay, thanks. Okay, a bunch of people hit me up on the numbers. So there was a couple of good questions here. So I'm going to call a couple people then. I lied.
Hi, Ricky. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Thanks good. for calling me. Yeah, what was your question? Um, The one about the For Rent by Honors. Yeah, For Rent by Honors. Yeah. Are they on Red X? Yeah, they're Red X. Yeah, there's a For Rent by Owner uh, product. And all the For Rent by Owners that come up in your area will be put into that folder every day. Okay, great. Um, I'm also one looking to join with you, your company. I just need to get with this done first. Did you, um, did you email me? I did. Okay, I okay. I'm still, I'm, I'm still working through that list, you know, but um, email me again and I'll move you up on the list. Thank you. Okay, have a good day. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, here we go. There was one question I liked. Hold on a second. Okay, here's one. I see your question, Bison. Email me, Bison, and I'll call you. Hello, this is Ed. Ed, Ricky Carruth. Hey there, how are you? I'm good. How about you? That's too bad. So what was your question here? Uh, when I when I do calls, I offer, you know, to help. And people say, what do you mean by help? You know, they are skeptical. And uh, and I say I've helped people paint a bedroom. I've helped people clean up a garage. I've helped them do all kinds of stuff like that. And I've had uh, a lot of people actually take me up on that. Yeah. And, and I actually don't have, um, you know, I love helping them. But it, is, it takes up a lot of time and I don't. I just was wondering what your thoughts are. You know, I want to be sincere and say I want to help them. But uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, yeah, man. Listen, when they say when I say I just want to help them, they know I'm a real estate agent. Yeah. You know, they know I'm a real estate agent. So, you know, they know what I'm calling about. <laughs> you, know, like, yeah. you know, so yeah. so when they start asking me all these non real estate things to do, I've been guilty of going and helping people do stuff. I've helped people move a lot of pieces of furniture and you know, other yeah. things of that nature. But at the end of the day, I, uh, at the end of the day, I, I tell them, you know, like if they want like some painting done or this or that, I'll send a contractor over there. You know, like I have a, I have a handy, yeah. I have a handyman and I can send them over there to do that work and I'll pay for it. You know, like I'll pay for it. I'll pick up the tab for you, you know, for something little, it's like a yeah. little, you know, hundred dollars or a couple hundred dollars or something, you know, I'll throw that in just to, just to, just to build that, just to build that relationship, you know what I mean? Or if it's something big, like painting a whole house, I can hook them up with the contractor I use to maybe try to get them a better deal than the guy down the street. I'm obviously not going to go paint their whole house. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, and, and so like when I say that I'm willing to help, you know, they, uh, if, if I say I'm willing to help and I'll, I'll list your house for you, it, it doesn't make me stand out much. Right. If yeah, you're willing to help help with list your house, what now? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make me stand out from another agent so much. Yeah, it but, does. You know, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does because they're asking just to list the house, not to help. Right. They're just saying, hey, would you consider selling? They're saying, hey, yeah, would you consider okay. selling? Okay, cool. Let me see it. Let's set up an appointment. Let's 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 turn this beautiful thing we have going on into a real awkward situation. Whereas you are saying, hey, a house around the corner sold, didn't know if there's something I could do to help you. They're like, help me do what? I don't know. Buy or sell a piece of property. Yeah. I'm a real estate agent. I can, I mean, I'm a professional. I can help you buy or sell a piece of property, make the transition yeah. go really smooth. I can, you know, I, I'm dependable. I'm hardworking. You know, I'm professional. Like I'm, I'm a professional real estate agent. So if you need to buy or sell a piece of property, I can help you do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I do. But, but if I, they want to have the idea about having a handyman go over. Yeah. If they want, if they want to do other things, you can send somebody over there. Hey, you can go do it yourself if you want to, you know, I, yeah. I'm not going to do any of that anymore. Like I used to, 
um, because I don't have time, but, you know, I used to, you know, I moved a lot. I helped clients move a lot of furniture. Like I could have opened up a furniture moving company. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And I always do that. I always offer, you know, not, I'm not always taken up on it, but right. I always offer to do that. And, yeah. You know. Cool, man. Well, good. Right, thanks. Yep. Have a good day. Got one more one to call here. I'm looking for, you know, pandemic type questions, current, current market situational stuff. Uh, Hey, it's Ricky Carruth. Ricky, this is Patty. How are you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. How about you? I'm doing pretty doggone good for everything that we're going through. Oh, we ain't going through nothing crazy. You know, this is just life. You know, you just take it one day at a time. Take it one day at a time and just stay busy. You know, that's the name of the game, staying busy. Yes, sir. Stay yes, busy. Sir. You know, yes. look, right now you stay busy. You keep your mind off what's going on and you are super productive because of it. Yes, sir. Kill two birds yes, with one sir. stone. Amen. Well, I've got the question that I was asking is I've got, well, I've actually got a couple of different families, but I'm getting pre approved right now and my lender doesn't seem to think that there's going to be an issue. And um, they're around 300, 350K. And my question is, how do you go out and show the homes when you're already compromised with age and health issues? You don't. You don't go out and show homes right now. If you have underlying health issues and you're older, even if you're even yeah. if you're me, right? I got an 80 year old grandmother and a five month old daughter. Like I'm not. Yeah, I'm right. not. I'm not going. I'm not going. How are you showing them? I'm because not. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. not, not going to, not going to so risk. What are you saying to the people that you're getting pre-qualified? I'm saying, I'm, I mean, if they're wanting to go look at houses, maybe I'll find an agent that's willing to get out there and risk their family's life right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna refer them out. You know, if those buyers are that ready to go and they're ready to go look at some things, then I'm probably gonna refer those to one of those. You know. Um, daredevil agents out there that's out there making it happen, you know, mm -hmm, more power mm -hmm. to you guys. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm going to take 25% or even 50%, whatever I can work out with them and let them handle right, it. Right. I'm going to wait for this right. thing to blow over. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. I, I, I totally thought so. My husband, he's, he's older. He doesn't have the health issues that I have, but, um, he's, you know, I don't go, I'm not going anywhere. I've been self-isolating since March the 2nd. And I thought, all of a sudden now I've got two people. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> so there, you know, uh, there, there's got... a lot of stuff you can do, you know, if they're just yeah. gung ho, ready to go, you know, we're firm to one of these agents that's out there making it happen that, you know, isn't too worried about it. But if you're older, you have under underlying health issues and you, you can't risk it. Okay. No, you can't no, risk sir. it. I mean, it's not worth, it's not worth it. No, sir. Not worth it. Very true. Very yeah. True. So, well, so I, I really appreciate you answering that question because yeah. I thought, oh, I just, it was really bothering me because I haven't gone out. My husband's been the one with the mask and the gloves and the senior, you know, shopping and stuff. And it's like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. So I, I really appreciate your, your real honesty. Uh, in uh, your answer. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they're... So how are your family doing? Are they doing all right? Doing just fine. You know, we're in Alabama. Good. I don't think we've had a single death in Alabama due to this thing. I think we're one of the last states to actually get any confirmed cases. Um, well, so... Praise God. That's awesome. Yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. But but it's coming. Like, it's, it is growing and it's still, it's still here. So you know, we still got to be careful, you know, and I'm in a, I'm in a tourist type town. So we have a lot of, uh, Orlando, Florida. <laughs> yeah. So we have people from all over the country come here. 
of course, right now our beaches are closed. Our beaches are closed and, you know, nobody's, yeah. nobody's down here. I mean, they, they even got the condo shut down. All the restaurants are shut down. So we're, we don't have any tourists right now, which is a good thing to me because I mean, it, it has yeah. basically, it's basically stopped my business, you know, in its tracks, but you know, I'm not, I'm You're okay with that. Base, yeah. yeah. We're keeping mm-hmm. people out that could be bringing the, the virus in. So I'm okay with that for now until we get it under control. You know what I mean? So. Exactly. Well, that was my concern because New Yorkers are coming down here because they're yeah. afraid of, of what's going on. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, uh, they're trying to get them, you know, quarantine a minute that you get off the planes and everything. And I thought, oh, uh, I do not want to get out. <laughs> yeah yeah it's not worth it you know, it's not worth you know, it you know, just you stay know. safe stay in you know just keep it together just this will blow over yeah, quicker sure. than we think refer those buyers yeah. out and make your calls keep making your calls for to pile up all that new that business that future business that's going to blow up for you you know two or three months okay. down two or three months down the road when this thing turns around and the market opens back up you know, uh-huh. you, you need to have all those people lined up, you know, keep building your brand, right. keep talking to people, keep seeing what you can do to help people, seeing how they're doing through this. Just keep doing it. I certainly will. Without it up. Well, I appreciate you very much. I okay. You. Thank you. Okay. God bless. Take care. You too. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. Them dang New Yorkers. All right. Guys. Let's see. A lot of people asking how the little one's doing. She's four and a half months old. She's a straight beast. I'm telling you, she's going to be on the phone in no time. <laughs> she is uh, she is ready to get on Red X and have her own account. And, uh, you know, I got to get her hooked up with, uh, you know, that hundred fit wave, that $150 fee for and get her own constant contact so she can start the 90 day action plan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she's real excited about it. You know, she knows it's going to take her business and life to another level. So we're excited about her. She she uh she's just been a blessing. She's just been so cool and uh, doing all the things babies do. So um this this quarantine's been really awesome because I've been at the house making calls eight hours a day, and you know out of the corner of my eye I'm watching my wife and her play around in the living room and stuff, and it's been really awesome. So I've been really enjoying that part of this. Oh, well, let's see here, guys. Let's see what other. See any more questions? If I don't get your question or something, you guys know you can hit me up on Instagram DM. Um, I always answer all my Instagram DMs. That's the very pl- best place to connect. If you aren't part of the free coaching program that has all the scripts and 90 day action plan, that's at zero to diamond.com. Link in the description. Also, just to reiterate the deal, we're doing what's called uh, GeoLeads Plus, which is five thousand instead of two thousand for fifty dollars, five thousand for seventy dollars. So we're more than doubling it for just twenty more dollars a month with email addresses. So you're going to call one 731 7339 Mention my name and that you want GeoLeads Plus to get the deal, um, so that you guys can take advantage of that. Um, and I'm really excited about this product. I've been begging Red X to make a product like this for a long time, and they finally came through for me. Uh, what else? What else? We we postponed the Naples, the Zero to Diamond Naples event. We haven't postponed the um, we haven't postponed the uh, the Atlanta yet. We're still looking at it. We still don't know which way this thing's going to go. So a lot of uncertainty with with everything going on. We'll let you guys know as we know. And I'm going to make live calls next Thursday, same time here on YouTube. Looking forward to that. And uh, I guess with that, guys, if you guys are interested in joining my team that's nationwide, globally, just email me, ricky at zero to diamond, and uh, I'll call you um, at some point in the future, in the near future, um, so we can discuss that. I can't think of anything right else this second except for the fact that I love you guys so much. And I hope this new, this product with Red X really helps you. Even for the guys in New York that can't call, you can get the emails and you can start personally emailing, uh, personally emailing those people. Do I often get asked how you get my number? I never get asked how, how did you get my number? Um, I just never get asked that. I did make a video on it. You just say I found it online somewhere, but like I was saying, and just keep going. The number to call again is 800-731-7339. 
Again, 800-731-7339. Mention Ricky Carruth and that you want GeoLeads Plus. Let's see. And if you're already a member, if you already have GLEs, just add, you know, call and just they'll add it for $20, 20 more dollars. All right. And make sure you guys get the dialer because that's going to save you. So you can make 100 to calls in an hour and a half. And then you still got the whole day to be productive. Do not pass up the opportunity to use the dialer. Red X does not work in Canada, but it, the dialer does. So use telelisting to get the phone numbers and use Red X dialer to dial the numbers. The number is in the description of this video, the phone number and all everything, all the directions. Do not call. They filter the do not, they filter people that are in the do not call list. Okay. So you can filter those people out if you choose not to call them. Lee Dodson, email me. Okay, guys, that's going to be a wrap. Thank you so much. Y'all just keep crushing it. Um, keep making me proud. Keep posting everything in the Facebook group, your results every day. Keep messaging me, telling me everything that's going on. And definitely hit me up with any questions you have. Um, I'm looking forward to another super productive day tomorrow. And I'm going to get back on the phone today and make some more calls before the day's out. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Tomorrow, I'm releasing a video where me and Quintavious Burdett met for the first time in Vegas. Really good video. I'm excited to release that tomorrow. So again, I love you guys. Reach out if you need something. I'm here. Talk to you guys soon.